So it's Saturday morning, out here with Danny. He asked me if I wanted to go pond skim today. I have to admit, I thought this was going to be a heli fueled type one uh, fun kind of day, but it's actually a nice pleasant hike. I told Danny I'm not running at all today. So this is gonna be stock grade A Joe hiker with our uh, skis on our backpack type um, activity. Three weeks ago at the beginning of June, I tried to engage in some type one fun and it was fun. We took a helicopter up into the mountains and we skimmed some water. What's up? What is happening, brother? <laughs> you do I found the sickest pond. But I wasn't completely satisfied with that activity. Three weeks later now, here almost at the beginning of July, and I've talked Kristoff into coming up to a lake here behind me. It'll be a little bit bigger than what I skimmed before. And I'm thinking Kristoff will, will have fun. I wouldn't classify this, what we're doing today, as type one fun. If anything, I'd classify it as type 1.5 fun, but it could definitely fall to a two if we have to do a lot of bushwhacking or Kristoff becomes submerged in frozen water. There's this gnawing kind of uh, pit in my stomach that is, I think it's my subconscious telling me that there is almost an absolute certainty that I will be bathing myself in frigid cold waters as I just eat crap. Today we'll be hiking five miles up to an exposed body of water. It is a lake, but only a little bit of it is exposed and it is blue as blue can be. And we're gonna skim across it. throwing our skis on, which is a welcome relief because carrying them on your back is not very much fun. This will be the first time I've ever gone backcountry skiing in running shorts. Also, I'm trying to keep this as fun as I possibly can. I want Kristoff to have a real type one fun day. Even though we don't have the helicopter, type one fun from uh, start to finish, I hope. Well, I'm having fun. I like I said, stock grade A, Joe Hiker, enjoy nature, snack breaks. Who takes snack breaks? You know, stopping, <laughs> taking my pack off. When's the last time I took my pack off on an outing? You're taking your pack off and having snack breaks? You're having a good day. Having a good day. I was worried we weren't even gonna find any water here, but this looks like if we could have ordered up the perfect pond skimming pond, I think this would be it. The length, the width, the girth is all just exactly how we want it. In the summer, they call this a lake, but right now it is summer, but it's still just a pond. This is the perfect 
skimming conditions as far as I want. It's not super deep, but it's still blue. We're up high, we've got a good run in. Doesn't mean bad things aren't gonna happen, but the best you can hope is that they're just not gonna happen to you. We're gonna go up that hill behind me, get some speed and try to traverse this entire pond. Should be a good skim. And I hope that it's still type one fun for both me and Kristoff. We've got a good run in. I think we're gonna, gonna wanna carry a little speed, tips up, weight uh, not on the, in the back seat, but centered, centered to slightly maybe on the heels and uh, just ride them cowboy. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Speed for speed. Great. This one. More speed? Yesterday, we were on our way. Woo! All right, I guess it's my turn. This is a first. I was nervous about 10 feet before I hit the pond. I had that quick butterfly in my stomach sensation, a feeling of dread. But the minute my skis touched the water, oh, it felt like I was cutting through butter. It was delicious. smooth. The lake is glass this morning. I'm getting some good cuts in. We're gonna pull in the rope to maybe a 18 or 17. We're gonna wrap up our pond skimming. We've been here for a while now, long enough for us to have to reapply sunscreen. So now we're gonna pack it up and head back to the car where the downhill skiing on this portion from here to the car and then the bushwhack back to the trail is probably going to be the worst part of the day. That was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. It takes me back to uh, my slalom skiing days behind the uh, Ski Nautique. We've reached the end of our skiing and I'm sure the bottom of my skis will bear testimony to the amount of rocks we encountered on our descent. They were all secretly concealed about two inches below the snow and we were endlessly smacking them on the way down. But we're done. Now we're gonna take off our skis, put our stuff away, and walk down to the car. It's been a better than expected day. Definitely a type one day. Ooh, careful. Now we have to go and find something that'll help us appreciate this fun. Something truly miserable. 